Happy Wednesday, everyone. Thank you to our beautiful princesses on the front, Isabella and Olivia. So we're in this amazing story um, that is actually walking out Proverbs chapter two and living it out. It's kind of fun, really, to be honest with you. And um, you've got the wise son and the foolish prince and how they react to situations and they're on a special mission together. And if you've picked up on it, you've noticed that the foolish prince is beginning to see more and more clearly the way of wisdom through the example of this young man. Now, we're going to be talking about influences and examples today. Um, they run across a strange woman. <laughs> That's a very good name for it. But truthfully, it's about an influence. And we're all influenced by someone or something. It could be a movie. It could be a friend. It could be something on our social media. We're all influenced by something. So when we walk through this story today and their encounter, I want us to think in our own life, God, what is influencing me? And how is it influencing me? What direction is it sending me today? And I know that this story is really based for more of the younger crowd but truthfully, all of us need to, to do a heart check, to do a friend check, to do an influence check. And that's really what this is about today. Um, I want us to pray and ask the Lord to just saturate us with his presence as we watch this. I, and I'm, I'm hoping that you've scored today. And if you haven't, you know the protocol. Push pause in the video and let's take time to be in God's presence. But we're going to ask him for divine wisdom today. Lord Jesus, we love you and thank you for your word. We thank you for that written word. We thank you for the rhema word. And I pray today that as the story is going across our screens and into our ears, that it would enter our heart and that you would show us the, the power of godly influence in our life. And for all these things, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoy it. The beautiful kingdom held its breath, waiting for news of the two young boys. They had been gone for several days, and there was a worry that they may never return. It was definitely not without trouble. The young foolish prince made several wrong turns, and they had to turn around and find their way back to the main road. The path that they were told to stay on by the map. The map never lied, but promised to lead them to their destination. The young wise man became very weary with the foolishness of the prince. And one day, as they were walking through the end of the woods, they came to a clearing. They noticed something very unusual, and they were very thankful to see a well in the opening. The boys ran eagerly over to the well to dip some water to refresh themselves. Unfortunately, the foolish prince had never dipped water from a well before, he reached over ever so far, lost his footing, and fell headlong into the well. The wise son could hear the cries for help at the bottom of the well. And suddenly, as he stood looking around, trying to find out what to do, a man appeared with a sword and full armor. He was a very kind man, and he offered his help. His name was Antropolis. Antropolis was sent by the old man with the cape. Antropolis quickly rescued the young prince out of the well and helped the boys into the clearing back on the path to complete the special mission. Antropolis knew that they needed to be accompanied at least for some time. So as they walked together, he began to share his stories with them experiences and advice and one such story was ever so useful as they approached a beautiful home with lights everywhere it just spoke to them to come on into the doors of this home they saw a lady at the door 
of the home, motioning for them to come in, motioning and saying, please come into my house, visit with me for a while. But Antropolis knew that this would not be a safe place. And the wise son could remember the words of his father. Wise friends will rescue you from the temptress, that smooth-talking seductress, who's faithless to the husband she married years ago, never gave a second thought to her promises before God. Her whole way of life is doomed. Every step she takes brings her closer to hell. No one who joins her company ever comes back, ever sets foot on the path to real living. So, join the company of good men and women. Keep your feet on the tried and true paths. It's the men who walk straight who will settle this land, the women with integrity who will last here. The corrupt will lose their lives the dishonest will be gone for good. Antropolis knew that only wisdom could save the throne and that evil influences would be its destruction. As they spoke about the power of influence, the young prince began to ponder many things and ask Antropolis many questions. And this time, he truly listened. This time, in the company of the wise son and Antropolis, our young prince began to discern wisdom. As they were walking, the young prince stumbled over a stone. He looked at the stone and it said, Truth. They've been written on there, painted, hand carved and painted on the stone. He picked it up. It fit nicely in his hand and he carried it as they walked. He continued to listen to Antropolis tell stories from his past and experiences that helped him. Antropolis told stories from his childhood as well and had all the boys laughing together. His experiences growing up, what he had learned in life. The prince noticed that as they walked, they were getting closer to familiarity. They were getting closer to his home. He wondered what the purpose of this mission was. And as he looked down on the ground again, there was another stone. He knew somehow in his heart that these stones were placed strategically by the old man with the cape to instruct him on their mission. He questioned Antropolis about the stones that he had found. Interestingly enough, Antropolis knew that they were there and explained each one carefully. They discovered several more stones with words like nobility, honor, courage, and wisdom. At this time, the young prince had felt a change in his spirit. He knew that he was not the same young man that had entered the forest. And when they reached the view that entered into the palace, he knew why they were on a special mission. He realized that without this mission, he would never be able to rule this kingdom. As they entered into the palace with Antropolis, the man with the cape was waiting there with the king. Eagerly, the young prince held his father close to him hugging him and thanking him for allowing him to go on this special mission. He took the stones out of his bag and laid them before the throne. The wise old man with the cape spoke kindly to the young prince. My prince, if you will remember these stones, that each one speaks 
of the character of a true king. Then you will rule your kingdom well. You will rule your kingdom with wisdom. The young prince looked up gently at the old man and thanked him for his willingness and the opportunity to learn wisdom. Hey class, how did you like our story? I want to give it up for my amazing husband, who is the father's voice speaking to the wise young son. Um, He helped me out with all this. But I got a couple questions I want you to ponder. Number one, I want you to think of some character qualities that you want to be, that you want to see in your friends, that you want to be around. So in other words, um, let's say your circle of friends, it could be your family, it could be your church, whatever. What do you want to see in them? What what do you want to see in them? Do you want to see integrity, honesty, um, those things like that? What are you looking for in your friends? Okay, the next thing is, what are you looking for in yourself? I want you to think about your own self. Are you trustworthy? Are you um, are you honorable? Um, are you wise? Do you listen carefully? Those things. I want you to write those down. So you're writing down things that you want to see in your friends and things that you want to see in your own life. Now, the next step is to cultivate those things. If you don't see the things you would like to see, I want you to begin to cultivate that. Cultivate nobility. Cultivate courage. Cultivate wisdom and listening well. Um, One of the, the last question I have for you today is... Um, just simply to pray, write out a prayer, post it somewhere in your room and ask God for these specific things that you would like to see in your life and ask him to surround you with friends and influences that have the qualities you're looking for as well. Well, I hope that blesses you. I am so excited that we are going into chapter three next week. And I'm so excited of what God has already done. I'm praying for you guys on a regular basis. I'm calling many of your names out to the Lord in prayer and believing that he's going to impart wisdom to us. I I don't know about you, but I don't want to walk around in foolishness. I want to be wise. And we know that wisdom comes from God. God bless. Have a great week.